Hey all, Will Healy here. There are so many cameras in manufacturing now. According to a new report from the A3, the North American Machine Vision market grew by 18% through June of 2021 to 1.5 billion US dollars, which is the best start to a year on record. And from robotic guidance to error proofing to measuring and gauging to character recognition and barcode reading, cameras are quickly becoming the mainstream workhorse of manufacturing data collection. So I thought I'd quickly discuss some real basics about vision cameras and the main parts of a machine vision camera so you can have some basics figured out. So first I want to talk about the types of vision cameras. Um, first is a vision sensor. Typically one does an application, uh, like one application per, per part number. And sometimes there's a software to configure the application. It takes a photo and then it processes that photo for that simple application. Um, sometimes it can do multiple applications, but typically Typically, this, the vision sensor is like the entry level camera uh, product and it typically does one thing and it does that one thing well and it has some simple decisions and some limited logic. Um, so that's a, a vision sensor. Uh, next is like a smart camera and a smart camera typically can do multiple detections or applications. Uh, they sometimes have logic inside and require software to set up or configure. Uh, a smart camera might have additional functions like controlling lights or uh, interfacing uh, to send images to a server or something like that. And the smart camera owns the image you're processing locally and could do some logic or decision making inside it. So there's the vision sensor and then the kind of smart camera in the middle. And then last but not least is the industrial camera. The industrial camera typically is used for full-on like computer driven machine vision applications and machine vision systems where large images or many images are needed. Um, the third party computer does the imaging processing so you send the picture over that and then another computer does the processing and the camera is just taking the picture and sending it to be processed later. Um, some industrial cameras can do additional image processing inside but the logic and analysis is still done by an external computer. Other things to think about with a vision camera, you know, what is the lighting, how's the object lit, what light is needed, and, and so on and so forth. The mounting, how do I mount this thing, how much space does it need, the lens, what focal area do I need, and how much do I need to be able to see. Um, the images, do I need to be able to store the images somewhere, how big of an image do I need, what kind of resolution do I need, a communication, how do I want to communicate, like Ethernet or just discrete I.O. or USB or Profinet or or Ethernet IP or uh, PCI Express or whatever we need to, to do the image uh, communication. And then a controller, like how are you going to decide to, to control this with a computer or, or what are you going to do to be able to, to process the images and the data. And then the other thing to consider is the software. You know, how easy is the software to use? You're going to build your own software. You're going to use software that, that is provided already. Um, so a couple of different things to think about with a, with a vision system and industrial cameras. And then if you haven't integrated vision before, but you're considering it, I really recommend you find a local partner to support you who has experience and can help guide you through the process to pick the right tools for what you're trying to do. Um, and I hope this helped you understand better some basics of machine vision and vision systems and vision cameras. And until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?